Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another episode of FS17 Fact Sheets with me, Mr. Dude. Uh, today we are looking at fact sheet number six. Uh, this uh, fact sheet uh, features a Massey Ferguson 5600 series. It is a tractor price at 87,000 euros with maintenance of 120 euros per day. So it's a good small, cheap, uh, cheaper tractor that you know might be a little bit of an upgrade from what you currently have in the start of the game. Not sure what the equipment list is going to be to start with when you start playing uh, FS17, uh, but this might be one of those kind of like initial upgrades. Got two engine options, uh, a 105 horsepower and 130 horsepower. Uh, max speed is going to be 25 miles an hour or 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, it's got a fuel capacity of either 160 or 180, and I believe that those are tied to basically the engine uh, horsepower. Uh, it's got several customizations available. It's got a front loader attacher. Uh, you can also customize the engine and the wheels. The wheel setups are going to be either standard or narrow. So if you look at the larger image on the fact sheet, you're going to see that the wheels are uh, the narrow configuration versus the uh, the image of the tractor and the inset shows the standard configuration. So you kind of get an idea of what that's going to look like. Um, also featured in this uh, fact sheet is a Kirill Nicholas Stilla 460. Uh, it is a sprayer priced at 71,000 euros. Uh, it's got a maintenance cost of 220 per day and requires 95 horsepower to operate. The operating speed on this is going to be 7 miles an hour or 12 kilometers an hour and the working width is 28 meters. Um, pretty standard working width. Uh, the tank capacity is 4,600 liters um, and it gets filled with fertilizer. The costs listed as always are those for the base configuration so if you upgrade the engine or buy tires or whatever the case may be it's probably going to cost you a bit more. Um, and another thing I did not know before that I wanted to go ahead and highlight was the fact that the currency, the currency exchange rate in Farming Simulator 17 from dollars to euros is one to one. So that way you can change the denomination of the currency in the game and kind of make it feel more American or European depending on the map that you're playing in. No, I don't know necessarily what the map is if there's going to be another uh, or I stand corrected a another um, if there's going to be a European map or what they're going to do but uh, they are going to be uh, but you can kind of change that and uh, do things to suit your needs so I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another edition of FS17 fact sheets with me Mr. Dude if the video suited your needs please go ahead and hit the thumbs up down below and I'd like to see and hear from you regarding your comments as as to what's exciting you upcoming in FS17. Once again thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time.